And more than a thousand dive experts from all over the world joined in with Thailand's Navy SEALs for the unprecedented mission that worked. Many feared it could not be done, but now all 12 boys and their soccer coach are safely out of that flooded cave where they had been trapped for 18 days. Anna Werner is following developments at the scene where jubilation reigns. This turned out to be the third and the final day of this rescue operation to save the 12 soccer team members and their coach. 19 divers went in again and spent some eight hours to bring out the four boys and their coach and have them transported safely to a hospital. Now everyone is uh, leave uh, the cave. Okay, so I mean, do this... Uh, uh, plan project is a success. Water drained from the cave helped reduce the fast moving current and allowed the boys to walk in some parts previously flooded. But the path out still required each boy to swim through dark narrow passageways flooded with murky water. Two divers guided boys while they held on to a rope. One diver in the front held an oxygen tank and another was in the back. The first four boys emerged from the cave safely Sunday, and four more followed on Monday. Most were flown in helicopters, then driven in ambulances to a Chiang Rai hospital. All of the rescued boys are expected to stay in the hospital for seven days. Some of them are asking for favorite dishes like toast and Nutella, and they want to go to the World Cup. The doctor said you can watch it on TV. Anna Werner, CBS News, Maasai, Thailand. Love a happy ending. Well, back here, a massive fire right off Old Hickory Lake in Mount Juliet. It sparked just before 4 a.m. and crews battled the blaze on Bender's Ferry Road for hours. The family there used the building as a pool house and for storage, so no one fortunately was inside at the time. Wilson County Emergency Management says it's likely a complete loss from water and smoke damage. They have not determined a cause at this time. About 10 homes and a gas station in Mount Juliet are still without water this morning after a water main break. That happened around midnight. West Wilson Utility District says it was likely due to a weak spot on the main line. The break is located on Park Glen Drive at Lebanon Road, and part of that area is still closed to traffic right now. We're told the break should be repaired within the hour. President Trump has picked 53-year-old federal appeals court judge Brett Kavanaugh to become the next Supreme Court justice. Kavanaugh describes his judicial philosophy as straightforward and promises to interpret the law, not make the law. In a previous confirmation hearing, he went on the record saying he considered Roe v. Wade a settled law. If confirmed by the Senate, Kavanaugh says he'll keep an open mind in every case and always strive to uphold the Constitution. The Senate is expected to vote on Kavanaugh's nomination later this fall. Well, if you've been to the Smoky Mountains on vacation, you might need to hear about this warning from the Tennessee Department of Health. An investigation is ongoing into an outbreak of a nasty gastrointestinal illness among visitors to a popular attraction near Gatlinburg. Health officials say they've heard reports of more than 500 cases of stomach illnesses from people who visited Climeworks Zipline Canopy Tour since last month. State health officials say Climeworks is taking precautions, cleaning the facility and to stop distributing water from its well.